Welcome to Benchmark Universe e-assessments tutorial video. This short video will walk you through the different types of assessments Benchmark Advance has to offer on their online platform, also known as Benchmark Universe. You may choose to watch this video in its entirety or pause it at certain points to practice in tandem with the video. For your convenience, we have developed a Benchmark Universe navigation guide with job aids to support your navigation and usage of the online platform. To download the full PDF, simply go to bit.ly forward slash Benchmark Universe. The URL is case sensitive, so please type it in exactly as the way you see it on the screen, all in lowercase. A few tips before we get started. One, Benchmark Universe best runs on the most updated version of Safari or Chrome. If you have not updated your browser for a while, please do so for optimal speed and ease of navigation. Two, please clear your internet cookies, cache, or history. If you're not sure how to do this, please refer to page one of your newly downloaded navigation guide if you're using a PC or Chromebook, and page two if you're using a Mac. Three, make sure pop-up blockers are disabled. Let's get started. Log on to Benchmark Universe. You may also follow along on page three of your navigation guide. Log in by going to clever.com or tinyurl.com forward slash LAUSD benchmark U. Your LAUSD single sign-on should grant you access. If for whatever reason you cannot get in with your credentials, use the temporary login on the screen. However, make sure you reach out to tech support to see why your personal login might not be working properly. This is how your login page should look. Once your sign-in is accepted, you will be logged into Clever. You should see the Benchmark app, along with app icons for any other platforms that your school might be subscribing to. Click on the app, and this will take you to this screen. If you do not see this page immediately, simply click on the Switch Dashboard button on the upper right-hand corner. Let's take a quick pause and look at the different types of assessment provided by Benchmark. You will find this information on page 9 of your navigation guide. Weekly assessments can be given to students every week. Each unit has two weekly assessments based on the instructional content and skills taught in weeks one and two. These assessments are intended to provide formative information to help guide instructions as students work through each unit, essentially to see if students understand what has been taught so far. Weekly assessments are multiple choice questions only and do not require any hand scoring. Depending on the grade level, there are anywhere from 8 to 15 questions per week. Unit assessments are given on the third week in lieu of the weekly assessment. It ranges from 5 to 25 questions and includes constructed responses as well as writing prompts for grades 1 through 6. Units and weekly assessments covers claims 1 and 2 and has questions ranging from DOK 1 to 4. Assessments can be administered in one or multiple sitting. Teachers have the flexibility to administer the test in whole or small groups. Interim assessments. There are three interim assessments for each grade level. All interim assessments in kinder and first are multiple choice with three answer choices. All interim assessments in grades two through six are multiple choice, multiple responses, two part items, and written responses. Interim Assessment 1 is intended to be used as a pretest before you teach Unit 1 and as a post-test after you've taught Unit 10. Interim Assessment 2 should be administered after Unit 3. Interim Assessment 3 should be administered after Unit 6. Performance Tasks Performance tasks begin in Grade 2. These tasks are based on the Common Core State Standards and the kind of tasks required of students who take the Smarter Balance Assessment. Performance tasks can be used as summative assessments of what students have learned thus far or as formative assessments after direct instruction for the following units. Performance task 1 should be administered after unit 2 and includes 2-3 to three literacy passages, constructive response questions, and a narrative writing prompt. Performance task 2 should be administered after unit 5 and includes 1-2 to two literacy passages, a video to view, constructive response questions, and an opinion writing prompt. Performance task 3 should be administered after Unit 8 and includes 1-2 to two literacy passages, 
a video to view for grades four and five, constructive response questions, and an informational writing prompt. Benchmark assessments are available to all teachers, both in paper, pencil, and online electronic format. Let's go back to Benchmark Universe and try one of the assessments. We were on the home page and we had just clicked assessments. On the left side of your screen, select your filters. Click your grade, unit, week, and language. Remember, the unit assessments are the shortest, the interim are medium in length, and the performance tasks will take the longest time to complete. Once the assessment pops up, select E Assessment. Do not click on where it only says Assessment. That is your Black Line Master. Select E Assessment and click Preview. It will tell you your session is ready to begin. Click Begin. Now, take the entire test as your students would. This will be a great place to pause this video. When you click on the screwdriver and the gear icon, first one on the left, you can change the font size, zoom in, adjust the contrast, or use the line reader to stay focused on the sentence you are reading one line at a time. Take a moment and play with the filters. Now that you're done taking the assessment, think about any or all of these questions. How was the experience for you? What are some roadblocks you anticipate your students having? What are some things you can do to prepare? How will the administration of these online assessments support your ELA instruction as well as prepare students for the Smarter Balance assessments? Some things we wanted to bring to your attention. In grades Kinder and First, students can click Play to hear directions and or stories, questions read to them. Double click on each side and use two fingers to scroll up or down. In this grade 2 performance task, know that there are multiple tabs that students must toggle between. There are also built-in media for specific assessment and an opportunity for students to write in their response. For all benchmark assessments, English language arts claims, targets, and standards are addressed and identified in the data reports that you can get after administering the assessments. Claims are the broad statements of the learning outcome. Targets are the evidence of proficiency. Both claims and targets are utilized as the language of the Smarter Balance assessments. Standards are addressed in clusters and are the language of instruction. Keeping this in mind, how might we use this information to help us backwards plan our instruction to ensure that classroom instruction, both whole and small groups, are addressing grade level standards? Let's review. Now that you know the difference between each assessment benchmark has to offer, let's try assigning them to our students. If you are following along in your navigation guide, you may want to refer to page 10. So let's get back to the assessments tab. Select down your filters like you did earlier. Remember, click your grade, unit, week, and language. Click on the assignment tab on the far right. Drag and drop the e-assessment into the assignment box. Give your assessment a name. Add instructions if desired. Select the students you would like to assign the assessment to. Your class roster is automatically populated as Clever is in constant communication with MISIS. Whenever a new student joins your roster, they will appear on Benchmark Universe roster within 24 hours. Very important, set the date for when you would like to make this assessment available to your students. You can pre-select the date as you plan for the whole class or small group administration. The first date you select is the first date this specific assessment will appear on your student's assignment log when they log on to Benchmark Universe. The second date you select is the date the assessment will no longer appear on their portal. Click Done. Click Save. If you make a mistake, simply click on My Library on top. Drop down to Assignments. Find the error and click X to remove. Please note that you may choose to disable the assessment from student access during after hours. 
To do this, you simply click on the assignment and click hide. This will hide that assessment from your student until you decide to go back onto that same page and hit show. Once show is clicked, students will have access to the test once again if it's within the window of dates that you have previously set. After students have completed the assessment, they can log on to see their results. The platform will show students their answers as well as the correct answer if theirs was incorrect. Remember, the teachers assigning the assessments to the students is only part of the process. All students already have email accounts per the district. Student account must be activated and a password must be set before students can log in to take assessments or access e-learning. To see how to activate student accounts, please refer to pages 5 and 6 of the navigation guide. The student email accounts are just like ours. For security reasons, they will be asked to change their passwords every six months. A suggestion is to set your calendar six months from when the accounts are set up so all students can change their password on the same day so there will be no interruption to online access. Go ahead and practice assigning a few assessments to your students. Use the calendar to set the dates accordingly. Remember, you can always go back and delete the ones you don't intend to keep. When you are ready, watch our next module on how to use Benchmark Universe for e-learning by customizing e-books.